Hello guys, so Laravel 10 is released this week officially and in this video let's review the new things. Let's start with the home page. This is what you will see on Laravel 10 if you do Laravel new like I did in my terminal here. So Laravel new project, it installs Laravel 10 with this new home page. And this home page was a contribution of Jess Archer here on GitHub. It's not a major new breaking feature but it does look really good and also design credit to Design Joy. Now, every new version of Laravel comes with two official documents, Upgrade Guide and Release Notes. Upgrade Guide is for those of you who want to upgrade the existing Laravel 9 or below versions to Laravel 10 projects, and Release Notes is just what new features and what new functionality it brings. So let's start with the Upgrade Guide. How can you upgrade? And is it a big upgrade? Is it a breaking thing? And will it be a big task to upgrade existing projects? If you're coming from Laravel 9, the answer is no, it will be very, very easy. In fact, so easy that Laravel 10 version is the shortest version ever in terms of upgrade guide. I've tweeted about it and thought to specifically calculate the size of upgrade guide documents, which are publicly on GitHub in the docs, and 10 kilobytes is the smallest version over the last five versions, only 10 kilobytes. And even if you look at the contents of that upgrade guide, high impact changes, there are only two. And those both are not about Laravel actually. Updating dependencies is PHP 8.1, so this is probably the most significant change. You need to have PHP 8.1 to use Laravel 10, so you may need to upgrade your server. Then also Composer 2.2 and a few dependencies. And also minimum stability should be stable. I'm planning to shoot a separate video about what that minimum stability means for packages and in general and why it may be important. But generally, these are all high impact changes. Everything else is medium or low or in more cases it's even very low or let me find it, there was something non or optional, this one. So in general, you can run through that upgrade guide pretty quickly, identify what is important for your project, but in many cases, you will just need to upgrade Laravel version in the Composer JSON, rerun Composer update, and it will just work. This was approved to me on Twitter as well by Benjamin, who just tweeted that only needed to upgrade the dependencies. That's it. Now let's go to the second official document, which is release notes, and it's about new features of Laravel 10. And looking at new features, I would probably call Laravel 10 a boring version. Maybe boring is not the right word, but not too many new features, to be honest. And it reminds me of another video of Brent talking about PHP 8.2 version, which he also called boring. It's a totally hilarious video. I recommend you to watch it, and I will link that in the description below. But boring in a good way. Boring means two things stable, which is good for everyone, right? And then in Laravel case, they changed the logic of releasing new features and release a lot of things in minor version. So even on this YouTube channel, you probably have seen a lot of videos about nine point something. They release things like PHP Artisan about, like UUID support natively, and many more features in Laravel nine point something on general releases every Tuesday. So there was not many more features left to release separately in Laravel 10. So I would maybe even consider that as Laravel 9.52 in a way. Even if we look at that release notes document, I also compared that to the older documents on my Twitter and this is the chart. It's not the smallest, but it's the second smallest document in release notes. A smaller one was only 5.7. So not many new features released in Laravel 10, but still a few of them and let's take a look at them. So if we go through that same document, number one and probably the most awaited feature since it was announced officially, it's about types. So finally, for a lot of people, when we generate controllers, we will have something like this. Return types response, return type here, and also it will be the same within Laravel ecosystem. So make something, make controller, make model and everything. And also Breeze, Jetstream and others will also support this return type thing. I have a separate video about that in detail, so I will link that in the description below. So one of the most awaited changes. Then also a new feature, but it's not a feature of Laravel 10, is Laravel Pennant, new package for feature flags. 
There were packages for feature flags in Laravel ecosystem even before, but now we have first party official package and I will review that in a separate video next week, probably here on YouTube. So subscribe to the channel to not miss anything. But basically you can define some kind of feature and enable that, for example, for 10% of your customers or for specific roles or for specific segment of users while you are in testing mode and then enable it for everyone when it's working properly. So that's the second new thing. Then process interaction. This thing is kind of a big deal for those who actually use processes. In my experience, it would be a very small portion of developers, but that very small portion would highly appreciate that big change. So personally, I don't do anything like process run ever in my project or something like this. So I cannot comment too much on that. You can read more in the official documentation and see if that process change is a big thing for you for Laravel 10. And also for testing, now along with running the test, you can also profile, which means how much it takes to run specific tests. So you can identify the slower tests. And basically that's it for Laravel 10 new features. Again, not a lot, right? But at the same time, a lot of things were released again in Laravel 9 already. But that's not all in this video. I want to mention a few more changes, not from Laravel framework itself, but from Laravel ecosystem packages. For example, Laravel installer has two quite interesting new small features, but pretty important for me personally. So when you do Laravel new with installer, now you can do dash dash breeze, which will install Laravel breeze for you. For me personally, it's a huge thing because for every demo project I do Laravel new, Composer require Laravel breeze. So if you are like me, that could be a small time saver for you. And another time saver, if you use PEST instead of default PHP unit within the same Laravel installer, you can do dash dash PEST. What would it do if we go to file changes? It will install PEST. Let's scroll down. No, not this one. This one, install PEST. Basically, it would replace test feature example test with PEST feature, PEST unit. We'll do PEST install and Compose require PEST for you automatically. That said, with PEST, there's a gotcha for Laravel 10. If you want to install PEST 1, you need to do some manual changes for it all to work. So I just wanted to mention that. It's mentioned on the official PEST PHP Twitter. Finally, I want to mention two more changes, which may come as a surprise to you if you use those particular features. So I want to help you avoid any of those surprises. So model dates property. If you still use dates on Eloquent, it was deprecated in Laravel 9 or even 8. Now it's completely removed. So instead of dates, you should use casts. That was the thing for a very long time, but in Laravel 10, it became officially removed. So that's one thing. Then language directory. By default, Laravel Laravel Skeleton will not contain language folder anymore. So if I open the project in PHP Storm, as you can see, there is no lang by default. There's a commit by Taylor Otwell, removing lang directory by default. Taylor tried to simplify to clean up the folder structure and lang was kind of a natural change because not everyone is using lang default files directly. So they remained in Laravel framework internally. And if you want to publish them in console, you can do artisan lang publish. Let's try it out. Language files published successfully. And now you do have those langs, but by default, they are not present. Also, I want to remind you of a tool that can help you with upgrades of Laravel versions, not only 10, but below and a few versions in a row, which is Laravel Shift. It is mentioned in the documentation as well. So if you go to laravelshift.com, click Run Shift, and there's a list of shifts. One of them is from Laravel 9 to Laravel 10. And if you're watching this video in the week of release of Laravel 10, I have a giveaway of that particular shift until Sunday, February 19th. You can participate in that giveaway by answering one question. So if you haven't seen, I will link that in the description below the video about giveaway. But by the way, I'm not affiliated with Laravel shift in any way. I don't get paid for mentioning it. I'm just a happy user and recommend it to everyone. And that's it. That's new Laravel 10. Pretty simple, very stable with not a lot of new features, but I'm sure there will be many more to come in 10.x minor versions like it was in Laravel 9. So subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all the news. 
and share in the comments below which feature of Laravel 10 is important to you, what do you think about new version, what surprised you may be, let's discuss in the comments below. Congratulations everyone on the new release and see you guys in other videos.